We found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Huh. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? You're deciding. Guys, look, I think we got to listen to our experienced, beautiful, <laughs> smart, <laughs> beautiful, oh, beautiful Connor, captain. Connor, Ashley, you I bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? Why not? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. I, I, I'm just saying she's right, not because she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful. But that's, <laughs> like, that's so awkward. Like, yeah. <laughs> look, we paid for this dive. Generously, we're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong... I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched. Oh my god, that butt. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check out bro. Hmm. Hey, man. Hi. How you doing? I'm just gonna look at this thing. I'm. Uh, how about you? Well, I gotta check on my bro. I guess. Okay. I you hope gonna he's be, okay. You gonna be okay up here? Uh, I. It, it said to look at this thing, but like, I don't. I'm telling you, this thing's got no baby sharks. So I'm just gonna hey, put hey. it down. Hi, sweetie. Goodbye. Goodbye. Muting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Please do not fondle machinery you are not equipped to understand. Okay. You might want to just let it do its thing. I will keep it off, though. Bye. All part of the adventure. <gasps> Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. You're more than that, just to screw up the trip. Mm. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Interesting. So you're saying she's 5'8. Wait a second. Why is height misspelled? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Wait a second! It's only smelled as good as it was. This made her happy. There's something afoot. What about the fake ID though? Mission, huh? Scary. What'd you find over there? Uh, found a premonition. Uh, also, our our hey, uh, hey captain back. has a fake ID. <gasps> what? Yeah, the ID like it's misspelled a bunch of times and stuff, and it's her boating ID and stuff. So I think the captain might be sketchy as fuck. Just saying, <laughs> it's pretty scary. I'm I'm not sure uh. what to do in this situation. <laughs> It's oh like, God. do we run? <laughs> no, we can't. We're all in the ocean. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna talk to your brother. You shouldn't have had that beer. Okay. Hmm. No sweat, Braddy Shack. We'd be hanging up top. Should you care to join? <laughs> yeah, I'll be up as soon as I <clears throat> stop puke heaving. Wow, I can't unhear that term. You keeping? Mm, oh, you could hear me talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> Cute keeping. Ooh, what's in here? Hello, locker. What you got inside of you? <gasps> Interesting. What's this now? Fancy. Good on you, Alex. 
I'm just really snooping through people's shit. Yeah, I was snooping too. Man, like I moved Alex's like cologne bottle outside and everything. It was weird. Hmm. I've done a lot of snooping, but I think I'm snooped out. How about you? Dudes, <gasps> tanks are ready when you are. Tanks are ready. Are you ready? Tanks are ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Do you want to see? This is the fake ID, though. I did say it. That's a fake ID, though. Yeah. I'm going to confront her about that later. Be like, hey, actually, can I talk to her now? And be like, hey. Yeah. Oh, Captain, my Captain. You know, we have rules out here. Conrad, uh, give me a hand. No, okay. I was talking so, to the captain. <laughs> this is very Sorry, I didn't know I was gonna pull you right out of that conversation. It takes all that CO2 that you normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Alpha as so fuck. Let's see what up to. You behave, Connie. Captain. Looking for a first mate, Captain? You need look no further. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? Look, I know the weight is interminable, but soon, soon it'll just be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. We can kids. fire it up again Good tonight to for our private post dive special. Just remember the rules, please. <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. <laughs> I I do have a knife. Holy shit. Are you ready for a dive or are we doing separate things? I think we're separate things. -ing? I'm not <laughs> sure. Like, I'm trying to bang okay. the captain. Have fun banging the captain. Thank you. Oh, are you seeing this stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Spooky. So spooky. Jump scares. Ah, we're getting wet. I might be your buddy right oh. now. You good? You're Julia. More or less. I might be. Oh, God. It's okay. We just gotta punch him in the so nose. Tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir. No, I'm talking to Fliss. Cool. It's not like I'm one Fliss. tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Oh, I'm underwater. I'm eating. Tell if you won't. Okay. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Wait a second, does this mean my character was hitting on Angel? No oh, shit. The turret, we can get in through there. You know, Fuck. these things happen. Whoa, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? <laughs> a little bit of blood goes a say, long way. Holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? 
<laughs> oh no. I saw a premonition of death. Oh god. Don't die, Alex. Oh. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. It's worth that it to me. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Live a little. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Yeah. Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Yeah, Edgelord. Gonna go grab that real quick. God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh God. It's fine. Buttercup found a picture? Nice. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, we're good, we're good. Woo! Woo! You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. <sighs> I'm just glad you're okay. Thanks, Boo Boo. Don't do that again, please. Okay. Me a heart attack. I found this. Uh, searching in progress. Searched area one, two, and three. Very important. They were on their way to help out a ship. How did you get that from that? What? You're smart as frig. Huh. Ah, <gasps> a bullet. Fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Yeah, Brad's gonna be like, <gasps> bullets? And then I'll get really scared about getting shot up because, like, you never know where there might Check be more. Out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Hmm. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Hmm. What else might there be? Good God. <sighs> Hello, sir. <sighs> Hi. Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Hmm. Titanic. It looks adorable. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Go for Julia. What's up? Hmm. How's it going down there? You found anything you should not be messing with? Well... I gotta tell you. This plane is one for the history books. <laughs> okay, okay. Just be careful and don't take too long. Okay. Hmm. Don't worry. We'll be back up before you know it. Okay. Roger that. Bye. He's holding something. Can I take it? I could steal it. I can't take it. Okay. Bye. Come. Can we go further anymore? Is this the is this the dead end, my dude? Oh. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Mm. 
Nice. the right time but i guess no time's the right time i, I, I don't I guess oh now i know you can't tell because we're underwater but i'm on my knees right now uh -huh. julia will you marry me uh uh we almost died i, I oh crap I, alex I'm, I'm sorry i, I mean I, I i just i mean we almost just died Julia, I'm serious. <sighs> Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> I love you, Alex. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Yeah. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, Fliss. Hey, where's that other boat coming from? Are you coming back up? Yeah. Hey, another boat's leaving. Where'd that go? Huh. Wait, Do you have a nice time Julia, up there? We got a Yeah, here. except we ran into oh, some God. fishermen. Whoa, oh, yeah. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait. Way to go, we Conrad. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Press, right. Hang on, meeting's done. Okay. okay. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Uh-huh. Money! Yeah. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Uh-huh. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Hmm. So, why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about oh it. You guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Okay. Oh, Yo, he asked shit. down there. Yo. Dude, bro, congrats. Nice After done. we almost got eaten by a shark. Break. Oh, you almost got eaten by a shark? Yeah. Baby shark dude. No. <laughs> I love not having any idea what the fuck you, you had happen. That's great. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth Ew, Malik. <laughs> and julia the love of alex's life and he the love of hers what about conrad a bold fellow you might say or maybe you'd say arrogant and then there's captain fliss strong forthright stubborn do i detect a spark between her and conrad Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 
Hmm. Did your guy tell you that you're doing well? Yeah, we have the same thing. Yeah. We have the same thing. Cool, cool, so, cool. So, uh, did you and Conrad bang, or what happened there? No. Because, like, he said a spark. Like, did you guys, like, talk well, more? Do you think a spark is banging? Well, a spark means orgasm. Oh, Jesus. So, we're like <laughs> 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. That was a weird thing. So, who are you right now? Soon be known as I don't know. Mrs. Julia Smith. You're no one? I don't know. Oh, I'm Julia. Oh, okay. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. Okay, bye. But now okay, that bye. I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Mm. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you Just did. Just a weird time you did it is all. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Mm hmm. Like a rug so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. That's how you respond oh, to that joke, you okay? Ahem. Damn. <clears throat> yeah. Naughty, Sorry. naughty. Didn't mean to interrupt. Oh yeah, the beers. What? I'm just get them now. <laughs> they were kissing. Oh, uh, who are you being? Oh, I'm the brother. What is going on down here? Brad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sis. Just getting them beers. They were sparking. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zing. Oh my gosh. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Yep. Oh, what was that? There's some weird scenes sometimes. Congratulations yeah. again, dude. Seriously. Kind of glitchy. I love that. Can't believe I actually did it. Hmm? Why'd you do it on the dot? I wanted it to be memorable. Mm -hmm. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have Everything is well. bro, bro. 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 He told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. Two, Wait, are you Julia right now? School. Yeah. Wrong. I oh, ran so off. You've walked away. <laughs> yeah. Don't so, know. we're going again tomorrow? I'm gonna meet up. I'll spot it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Oh, he made it. Okay, I'm muting. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Okay. Come here, you vixen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Easy, oh. tiger. We should get back. Right here. You came back too fast. It was in the middle of a decision. Oh, I couldn't control it. I know. It's just 
It's funny how it works like that. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Then what? Superstition? Is that it? Really? The dead don't sleep well in these waters. May sound silly enough to you all, but I was raised on this shit, and it sticks. Hmm. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Ooh, ghost story. Mm. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good what yarn. You got? It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Jeez. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an ax. Giblets? Wow. What do you think about those giblets? I love giblets. So gross. <laughs> okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <sighs> <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So that was crazy, oh. what happened? 